All right, it's the one we've all been waiting for. It's the EA press conference. Microtransactions, they're in the game. Welcome everyone to the download. <sighs> This is like a following the Microsoft conference, it's like having explosive diarrhea and then puking all over the place. That's what it's like. By some miracle these games are all great, what's the odds we can buy them second hand or trade them? Slim to none here, eh, you money grabbing. Mirror's Edge 2, Knights of the Old Republic 3. No, that's all I want. I want a good UFC game. The f- Garden Warfare! What in the name of God? What the fuck? Oh, by the way, Breaking Bad Cup, uh, badass, thank you. This cup is better than the Xbox One. On an EA stage, so don't smile, you jackass. Dude, this is how EA starts with God and Warfare? <coughs> I'm choking on EA's bullshit again. Sorry, what? Uh, no, I, 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 sir, dude, I don't speak your language. So well, this is going to be a long night. What a waste of a Monday. I've not left. Sounds to go jerk off a couple of times. What? Oh, that big zombie. He is a big boy. And he's stroking that baby zombie. Not as weird as it sounds. This is boring. I want Battlefront 3. Yeah, I mean, respawn. Could they have gone with a worse company to publish their games? He said newcomers. I think he meant newcomers. First person shooter after first person shooter after first person shooter. After zombie game after zombie game after zombie game. Getting some jackass playing with a microphone. Stay! I'm really supposed to be spending most of my free time studying instead of watching Microsoft and EA conferences. Yeah. Do you reckon there's someone jerking off in the background of this video? Peter Moore cracking one out. Gaming on the consoles will never be the same again. No, because of microtransactions, you dickhead. Oh. Star Wars Battlefront! Finally! Free. We push the limits. Free from sins. Free from Fox Die. You no, know, well, you can't play it offline if it's coming to an Xbox One, so you just lied there. Good start, Dick Cream. If you're playing single player, I hope you're connected. If you're playing Xbox One, you best be online. Don't even think about taking that thing offline, you. Ooh. Driving and driving and a bit more driving. Hey, they look bored. You know what I'm. Th this is ball achingly dull. Yes, my balls are aching from the dullness. Or maybe I should see a doctor, but either way. From Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul. What? Are you kidding me? Hello, hello. What a You know, um, as a gamer. Yo, bitch! It's really cool to be here at the E3. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman! That's science, bitch. Are you making it a Need for Speed movie? <laughs> this is E3! Games! Games! <laughs> Games. <laughs> They go hand in hand, don't they, Microsoft and EA? Bioware. Oh, uh, what was once an awesome company got shat on by EA. Gonna be missing Game of Thrones for this. I hope I've set it to record. A green sky, and the skies open up, and microtransactions fly out the sky and take everyone's money. All right, it's Dragon Age. I didn't realise that. You're proud of your past, your history, and your legacy. I ought to slap you in the face, mister. Someone's had a little bit too much sugar. Get your lines right, mate. One job, get your lines right. Can't even do that. Obviously, I don't like... I'm not really into sports, so when people say dribbling, I just think of someone dribbling. So it's, it's funny. It's weird though, isn't it? I'm, I'm more interested in this pen. A freaking pen. Than I am. Uh, they have different tendencies. Yeah, for sure. UFC! Please let this be good. Time! 
John Jones, Hamilton Silva, make it happen. I wonder how John Jones' toes doing. That was nasty. It means plenty of microtransactions, plenty of DLC, no more used games, always online, always being spied on. Is that your answer you're looking for? Those guys make me look cool. Nerds! Holy crap. That was what I like to call awesome. Battlefield 4 on the list of things to buy. Mirror's Edge 2. Get in! Alrighty, so EA conference over. Uh, and despite my reactions at the beginning, now just remember not to take my reaction to see the beginning too seriously. That's kind of for the comedy value. Uh, it wasn't that bad, to be honest. It was boring for a lot and they showed a lot of crap, but uh, there were some surprisingly kind of good things at the same time. Who'd have thought from EA, right? Um, first of all, they start off with Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Golden Warfare, which I, I really don't know what to make. Is that what people want? I don't know. Golden Warfare. Um, then the uh, basically one of my best things, uh, they announced Battlefront, Battlefront 3, come in finally. I've finally been asking for this forever. Battlefront, yes, finally. Didn't think it was going to happen in the end. Um, they did all sorts of the EA Sports stuff, you can expect that, but not being into sports doesn't really bother me. I'm sure a lot of people were into it, this went on for ages about this Ignite engine and all this stuff. They tried to claim all of it was uh, game footage, I think, but I don't believe that for a second. Uh, the FIFA might have been, maybe the uh, the Madden game or whatever it were, I forgot what it was. Uh, but I don't think the, the UFC game was uh, in game footage at all. It was kind of just the same trailer they showed from the reveal on Xbox, so that kind of annoyed me, because I'm looking forward to the UFC game, but you know, I still don't know what's going to happen with it. Uh, then they showed Dragon Age again, which I'm interested in, but at the same time, uh, it's it's Bioware, and all those have been gaming for years, and been playing Bioware games, you'll know, they're not the company they used to be, EA's kind of sunk their poison into them, we all know what EA do, they buy out a company, they destroy the company, Westwood, prime examples, destroyed Command and Conquer. So I don't know what to make about Dragon Age, I'll keep my eye out. Dragon Age 1 was amazing, Dragon Age 2, not so much. Um, yeah, but I don't know, Dragon Age, it could be good, who knows. Uh, and then they showed uh, Battlefield 4, which looked all sorts of fun, that was probably the, one of the best things they showed. Uh, I'm definitely getting Battlefield 4, looked awesome, so yeah, Battlefield 4. Uh, and then at the end they had the, uh, the surprise, which was Mirror's Edge, which again, fans have been asking for for ages. Uh, which is really cool, it looked awesome. Um, the first Mirror's Edge was amazing, so criminally underrated. Uh, so finally, uh, another Mirror's Edge, another uh, Mirror's Edge story is coming, so it's very late, so I'm struggling to... Um, but yeah, it was kind of okay, but even though they are those games like, you know, Battlefront I'm interested in, um, the UFC game Dragon Age, uh, Battlefield 4 and Mirror's Edge, you know, they could be awesome games, but you've got to wonder, are they all going to have microtransactions? You know, they played with these things. You know, and are we able, are we going to be able to buy these used? Are we going to be able to trade them with this whole blocking used games? So if they, even if they're good, you know, with all that DRM crap, does it really matter? So I don't know. We still don't know about this. But I don't know what's going to go on, but there's potential to be some great games there. So overall, a bit of a surprise from EA, but you know, you've got to be skeptical. It's Electronic Arts, you know. So, yeah, I'll hold judgment for now, so I'm not, not going to get too excited, but we'll see. Anyway, that's EA's conference. Uh, next up, Ubisoft, which is one of the ones I'm looking forward to the most. So, bring on Ubisoft, baby. Uh, 